Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Join me today as I do some Easter crafting. I have five super cute and easy Easter crafts I cannot wait to share with you. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, grab a coffee or a tea, sit back, relax, and let's get to crafting. First up, I'm making an egg wreath. I am starting with this wire wreath form that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm adding some hot glue, and then I'm going to wrap this burlap ribbon from Hobby Lobby around it. You could also use tulle or any kind of ribbon you had on hand. I'm just using this as a base because I'm gonna be covering it with eggs and moss. Once I went all the way around, I attached the end to the back with hot glue. Once I have my base done, now the fun begins attaching the eggs. I'm using two bags of these white speckled eggs from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna go around and randomly put them around and then I'm going to fill in with moss. I'm attaching the eggs to the wreath form with hot glue. When I first started, I was adding a few of the eggs in different directions. As I got going, I realized I wanted them all going in the same direction, so I did move those around. I also wanted to only use two bags of the speckled eggs, so towards the end, I did have to move a few around, so they went all around evenly. Once I have all of my eggs placed where I like, I'm going to fill in with the Spanish moss that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna add some hot glue where there is a space, cut some of the Spanish moss and fill in those gaps. Now I did consider at one point to add the Spanish moss on top of the wreath form before I added the eggs, but I didn't wanna do that and then be disappointed with the way it looked with the eggs on top of the Spanish moss. So I ended up adding the eggs first and then tucking them into the Spanish moss and I really love the way it looks. So I just went around and added hot glue in the gaps and then cut some of the Spanish moss and filled that in and then trimmed off any excess and I kept doing that until I made it all the way around. And be warned, this does get a little messy. I pick up the craft paper rolls from Dollar Tree and use those to craft on and then I can just easily clean it up and throw it out once I'm done. And here it is all done and trimmed out and I love the way it looks. This would look really pretty on a table too with a candle in the center. I ended up putting it in my dining room. I swapped out the wreath that I had in there and I really love the way it looks. 
Next up, I found these darling signs at Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? I was so happy to find them, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit to fit my style of decor. I really loved that the hook was on the back too. Sometimes those signs at Dollar Tree, there's the holes to hang them, but I really love that it was on the back too. So anyways, I am taking off the front little sign part. It was super easy, it was just hot glued on. And then I am going to sand the frame down to give it a raw, rustic look. So I'm using my sanding block that I also picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna give it a good sand. Next, I'm gonna paint the center of the frame with folk art chalk paint in the color white and Adirondack. As the paint is dry, I'm going to attach the sign back on with hot glue. And I love the way this turned out. It is so cute and perfect with my decor. I ended up placing this sign in my dining room and it's super cute on this tray. Next, I'm gonna make a no-sew Easter pillow. I pick up these pillow covers at Hobby Lobby when they are on sale, and then I am using this spray adhesive also from Hobby Lobby. First, I'm going to iron the pillow cover to get out all of the wrinkles. Next, I folded an 11 by 14 sheet of paper in half and drew half of a carrot. You could do that, or if you want this pattern, I'll include a link for it in the description below. Next, I traced my pattern on a piece of fabric and cut it out. I do recommend using a good pair of scissors. I use Ginger scissors, they are the best. I also get asked when I share projects like this on my Instagram page, if the fabric frays. It does fray a little bit, but that is my style. So I like that and embrace that. But if you want to prevent that fraying of the edge of the fabric, they do sell at the craft store like Fray Check, and you could add some of that around it as well. Next, I'm going to apply the spray adhesive to the back of the fabric and then turn it around and place it on my pillow cover, then use my iron to attach it. If you don't have spray adhesive, you can use hot glue. The only thing with hot glue is you may see that underneath your pattern a little bit once you attach it. The nice thing about using spray adhesive, it makes it nice and flat. Next, I cut some strips of twine and I'm going to tuck that in underneath the top of the carrot. Then I'm adding a little bit more of the spray adhesive and ironing that down. Next, I made a double twine bow and I'm going to attach that to the top and then I'm also going to cut a piece of muslin fabric and make a cute little tag. I am stamping the word carrots on a piece of torn muslin.
And how cute is this? Now I just need to pop in a pillow insert and this project is done. I'm gonna add this darling pillow to one of my kitchen chairs and I just love the way it looks in here. Next, I'm going to make a cute and easy chocolate bunny. I picked up these bunny containers at Dollar Tree and then I'm going to spray paint them with my favorite color of brown spray paint. This is Rust-Oleum in the color Espresso. Once the spray paint dried, I added this to one of my dobles. I placed a wreath inside of it and then placed the bunny on top and added these cute carrots that I found at Hobby Lobby. This looks super cute and it looks just like a chocolate bunny. Even my kids thought it was. And for the last DIY, I'm gonna show you how I made this oversized bunny with a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree. So I shared this over on my Instagram page if you are following me there, but I also taped this to share here too, and all of that video disappeared. So I'm going to recreate another one. I did freehand this bunny originally, and I really like the shape of it, so I'm going to reuse this one. What I suggest doing first is drawing out the bunny on a small sheet of paper until you get the hang of it and then draw it on the foam board. But don't worry if you make any mistakes because you can just go over it because you're gonna be cutting it out and covering it with fabric anyways. So you can just go in little sections until you get the shape that you want. Next, I cut it out using my rotary cutter, but you could use a box cutter too. And then I trimmed it up with some scissors. Next, I'm gonna trace out the bunny on a piece of fabric. This fabric is from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going to cut it out, but I'm going to cut out a few extra inches around it so I can fold that over. One of my followers suggested to spray it with spray adhesive, which I thought was a brilliant idea. I did not do that on the first one and it really helps make it stick and the fabric won't move. So I spray it with the spray adhesive and then I'm going to hot glue it to the back. When I come to a corner, I add a slit in the fabric so I can fold the fabric to each side. Now I'm gonna add this bunny tail that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna attach it with hot glue. And next I'm gonna make a bow with this ribbon that I picked up at Michael's and attach it to the bunny with hot glue. If you want to make this a really cute door hanger, just add some twine to the back to hang. How cute is this bunny? The best part is you can customize it to match your decor and it's so cute sitting on the ground or hung on the door. 
Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite craft was that I shared. I think my favorite was the egg wreath, but I really love the way the sign turned out too. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for spending time with me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.